Getty Donald Trump has been invited to the UK for a state visit by Theresa May more than six out. If ten women felt he should not be afforded the honour, the president has faced repeated accusations of sexual harassment. Sources close to his administration insist that President Trump, an ardent admirer of the Queen, is still keen on an official visit, despite recently cancelling a trip to open the new US embassy, however, in the poll. Of 2,021 people, more than half 56% answered no when asked if the U.S. president should be given a state visit, less than a third 30% backed a visit, while 14% said they didn't know, according to the survey carried out by Norstat. Last week, they were asked, do you think Donald Trump should make a state visit to Britain? Women were particularly averse to the idea, with 61% opposed and only 22% in favor, suggesting that concerns over claims of sexist behavior attributed to Trump before he came to power may also be a factor. The poll came as activists yesterday surrounded the new U.S. Embassy in South London to protest against the visit on the anniversary of his inauguration. Getty many of the women polled were particularly averse to the idea of the U.S. president coming to the other declared the U.S. president a racist bigot and, just hours after it was confirmed, called for Theresa May to cancel her meeting with him at the World Economic Forum in Davos, Switzerland, next week. Tory MP Andrew Rosendahl said that the poll results were worrying and said America was one of Britain's closest allies. The MP, who sits on the Foreign Affairs Select Committee, said people should consider the UK post-Brexit, we should be building up relationships with allies and friends. Get it, there have been tensions between Mrs May and Mr Trump after the PM criticised him last November. People's personal likes, dislikes and emotions should simply be put aside. We've had state visits from the King of Saudi Arabia, the Chinese President, Vladimir Putin and even Romania's Nikolai Sozescu. In contrast, the US is a democratic country which holds human rights and defends freedoms and has supported Britain through our worst crisis in the Second World War. There have been tensions between Mrs. May and Mr. Trump after the PM criticized him last November for retweeting three inflammatory Videos posted online by the Farid group Britain First Getty activists yesterday surrounded the new U.S. Embassy in South London to protest against Trump's visit. President Trump had problems at home last night, as the U.S. braced itself for a federal shutdown. Last-minute talks to avert the closure crumbled as Senate Democrats and Republican rebels branded obstructionist losers by the White House blocked a four-week extension to all federal spending in a late night vote, and last night it emerged that U.S. Congress has been questioning whether Russian money could have been used to fund Mr. Trump's golf courses in the U.K. and Ireland.